Hey, hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about ATP adapters. Why we will use ATP adapters? What kind of action we can perform using this ATP adapter? Everything I am going to explain in this video. So let's begin. So here, why we are using ATP adapter? So Oracle provided database, different different kinds of database. For example, we have ATP database, we have ADW database, we have Oracle database and all, many others. So when we are trying to connect with the ATP database, we require ATP adapters. So ATP adapters help you to create connection between Oracle OIC, Oracle integration and that Oracle ATP database. So first we will use ATP adapter to create our ATP connections. And with the ATP connection, we can perform various operations like inserting data into ATP table database, database table, inserting data into uh, calling the ATP procedure, calling the ATP functions and all various actions we can perform with the help of ATP connections. So here majorly when we talk about integration, so here in integration, if you will see, I will show you in the next, in the video. So when I will create one connection and I will use that connection in integration. So when we select ATP connection, we got three kind of action to perform. So here you can see in this display, we have three kind of operations. We can invoke a SQL procedure or we can run a SQL statement or we can perform an operation, operation on a table. So all these three operations we can perform with the help of ATP connection. So when we talk about invoking a store procedure, when you select the operation invoking a store procedure, it will ask you to select the schema in which a schema you have created the package, you have created the procedure or any functions. So here in the screenshot, you can see that here first I have selected the schema. Once selected the schema, it's asked for the package if any, or you can directly select the procedure or functions you created. And the second operation we have run a SQL statement. So sometimes we require to get data from the table, ATP table based on some queries. So here run a SQL statement operation will help you to get data based on the query from the ATP table. So once you write a query, suppose for example in the screenshot you can see I have write a query select a star from T1. And every time when you write a query, when you update the changes in the query, you have to validate the SQL query. Once the status is been successful, then you can navigate to the next. And in the last, we have perform an operation on a table operations. So these operations help you to perform various operations on a table. So what kind of operation you can perform? You can ins perform insert operation, delete operation, update operation, in and select operation you can also perform on the table. Here you can see when I selected the insert operation, here it's asking same for first it's asking for a schema once you will select the schema then it will ask you to the select the table type that can be views or any others and after that you have to select enter the table name once you will click on the table name and enter the table name and click on the search this available side you will get the list of the table with the particular name and you have to import that table in OIC so all this thing we will learn so let's move to the practical part and I will show you how we can perform this kind of operation. So here I have created one basic integration. In that integration, I will just show you when how to add that connection and what kind of operation it's showing here. And I will create separate videos for each and every operation. So here if you will see, I have to add that connection. So here in Oracle ATP, I will drag this connection here only. So once you will drag the connection it will ask you to enter the some details so here suppose i have inserted details and now here you can see that what operations do you want to perform so out of these three you can perform any operations with the help of this connection so suppose i have to perform invoke astro procedure so once you will select just click on the next and then after it will ask you to select the schema so as you can see this is my table sql developer i have added here and here you can see that I have added my user as a Fox ATP one and whatever table created procedure same created in the same schema. So I will select ATP data Fox ATP one here from here only. So here you can see this is my schema Fox ATP one. 
so once you will select the schema it will reflect you the packages procedure and all so right now i don't have any packages created that's why it's not showing here and here you can see that i have created two procedure one procedure and one function without giving the any package so it's showing here in default default package and these two procedure xx test function and xx test procedure it's reflecting here so once you will select any procedure or functions you will get the parameters listed here so in this functions i have only one parameter which is p underscore one and here in you can see in the function i am returning one value return vicar so here you can see this one this is the first one is the type out and this is the vicar two because we know that in function we can return only one value that's why it's not showing name here only it will reflect the parameter in a response of this endpoint so once you will select the procedure it will list you down all the in and out parameter so here you can see that in the procedure i have two parameters one is in and one is out so it's showing over here only you can see that here once i created the xx test procedure i have provided two parameters p underscore one and p underscore two and p1 is for in and p2 is as outside and it's all showing over here so now move to the move to the another operation that is perform an operation on a table so once you will select the operation that perform an operation on a table you get this four option the first operation is that do a insert operation on a table so once you will select anything it will ask you to say again select the schema so here i have selected the schema and now it will ask you to select the table type so that can be the uh, synonym table views or anything so i have selected the table so i will select table and now you have to enter the table name so i have created table with t1 so i can search directly with the t search or directly i can search t percentage so it will show me here so now once the table is reflected here you have to import the table to the selection sex selected section and now it's ready to import once you will click on that import it will list you all the columns available in the table and different different actions so right now in my table there is only one column so it's showing here only so that kind of operation you can perform so here if you will see let me go back and in operation we you can perform update operation you can perform insert or update operation that is called merge operation and the select operation so there are different different uh, features of this kind of operation so when you will select the update operation it will update the data whatever data available in the table based on primary key primary key once you will select the insert or update the data it will perform the insert operation or update operation based on the primary key you provided if that primary key is not available in the table it will insert the data if that primary key is available in the table it will update the data so that kind of operation you can perform so i will create separate videos for each and every operation so don't forget to subscribe this channel and obvious like the video if you like the content and yeah if you have any other queries you can comment below you can ask thank you so much for watching